Hello everyone! And yes, I know what you're gonna say, uh, I said no more uh, Alpha Zero games, but uh, I decided I couldn't finish the series uh, without showing you how Alpha Zero destroys the French defense. And those of you who have followed my streams know I really hate the French defense, I uh, uh, always lose against it, uh, even though when I was younger I, I w was very successful against the French defense. I guess, uh, you know, uh, you have to sacrifice more pawns in the opening to, to get a, an edge against the French defense. And uh, on, on, a, on a side note, uh, while everyone was busy, you know, watching uh, chess games played by uh, Alpha Zero, uh, Elon Musk's uh, artificial intelligence uh, managed to, to defeat uh, professional Dota players, so Dota 2 players. So, w what do you think is a greater accomplishment, Alpha Zero crushing Stockfish, or Elon Musk's uh, artificial intelligence uh, crushing <laughs> Dota 2 players? Uh, but okay, that being said, uh, let's let's see this game. How does one crush the French defense? Uh, d4, uh, it starts with d4, but it will transpose into the French. e6, e4, and now d5, we've transposed into the French. Uh, knight to c3, knight to f6, and now e5, the Steinitz variation. Uh, knight f to d7, f4 now, uh, c5, and knight to f3. And in this position, uh, the move I most often, uh, you know, see is something like knight to c6. And uh, this is probably what I would play in this position, but uh, Stockfish goes for C captures on D4. I don't prefer moves like this, I go by the old uh, to take is a mistake. But okay, C captures on D4 and Knight to B5 by Alpha Zero. Uh, bishop to B4 check, uh, Bishop to D2 and Bishop, uh, bishop to C5. Uh, B4 now, kicking the Bishop, Bishop to E7 and now Knight, knight uh, B captures on D4. Uh, knight to C6, now, B, now C3. Uh, a5 and b5, knight captures, uh, c captures, and uh, knight to b6, uh, and alpha pushes a4. And already this is move 14, uh, alpha is controlling uh, four squares uh, on the sixth rank, and uh, this is this is very nice. Uh, knight to c4, going for the dark squared bishop, uh, and here there are there are a couple of moves you you can uh, choose from. You can decide to go for bishop captures knight on c4, but uh, it's the French defense. I also think that uh, a light square bishop is worth more than a dark square bishop. Uh, but then again, you can go for something like bishop to c3, getting the bishop out of the way, preserving the bishop pair, uh, and also protecting the d4 pawn uh, even even more. Uh, but after queen to c7 and rook to c1, uh, bishop to a3 with a tempo on the rook, rook to a1, uh, bishop to b4, then a repetition is possible. So perhaps this is why alpha decided not to go for this. Uh, it actually had a, had a brilliant idea. After knight to c4, it played bishop to d3. Uh, knight captures uh, on d2, and here you can't capture with the queen. If you capture with the queen, uh, bishop to b4, you lose the queen. Uh, on the other hand, after knight captures on d2, if you play knight captures on d2, uh, after bishop to b4, uh, pinning the knight, uh, y you have to castle. Uh, and after bishop to c3, uh, your rook is attacked and you're losing the d4 pawn. So, after knight captures on d2, uh, alpha 0 had another idea. Uh, king captures on e2, and this is, uh, this is great. Uh, bishop to d7 was played, and now the star move of the game, uh, king to e3. And now the king will be supporting this uh, beautiful central pawn chain, and the king is actually pretty safe on e3. This is, uh, this is some maneuver by alpha. Uh, b6, uh, g4, and h5. Uh, we have queen to g1, h captures, queen captures, and bishop to f8. And again, you can see that uh, all of black pawn, black's pawns are on light squares, and uh, alpha has a pawn on a4 and b5, uh, controlling his a a5 pawn and b6 pawn. And again, this light square bishop isn't really looking uh, looking good here. Uh, we have h4, queen to e7, uh, rook h to c1. Uh, alpha is now preparing to double up on the c file. Uh, g6, rook to c2, preparing rook a c1. Uh, king d8, rook a c1 now, and queen to e8. Uh, rook to c7, infiltrating black's position, and rook to c8, uh, offering to exchange at least one pair, one pair of rooks. Uh, rook captures on c8 with check, bishop captures on c8, and now rook to c6. Uh, bishop to b7, attacking the rook, and uh, here rook to c2 was played. Uh, why not capture the pawn, you might ask? Well, if you capture the pawn, uh, king c7, and you lose the rook. Okay, you can play something like uh, rook to d6 and uh, give up the rook like this, but after king captures, uh, 
black is up the exchange, uh, the pawns are equal, I mean, five pawns on each side, but uh, black has only two pawn islands, uh, white has uh, four pawn islands, so it's definitely favorable for black. Uh, even though white's pieces are, are, a, bit, are, are a bit better placed, uh, but in the end this should probably be better for black. But uh, alpha doesn't go for this, bishop uh, rook to c2 was played, uh, king to d7 and knight to g5. Uh, bishop to e7 now attacking the knight and here comes uh, another star move of the game. Stockfish actually uh, assesses this position as a draw and offers the move knight captures on e6. Uh, followed by f captures on e6 and after bishop captures on g6 with a tempo on the queen something like queen f8 and h5 and stockfish considers this to be a drawn position white does have compensation for the piece but uh, you know doesn't seem like uh, either side can make progress uh, but uh, here alpha has another idea alpha here plays bishop captures on g6 and uh, what's the idea here? The idea is you can't capture the bishop. If you capture it, you're getting mated. Queen captures on e6 with check, uh, king to d8, and now queen captures on b6 with check, uh, king to d7, and now e6, this is checkmate. So instead, after bishop captures on g6, bishop captures on g5 was played, uh, queen captures on g5, and now f captures on g6. And now you might ask yourself, uh, selves, uh, where, where's the compensation for the piece? Uh, what do I play now? And here is Alpha's idea, f5. And this is, this is beautiful. Uh, what's the idea? If you play e captures on f5, uh, this isn't good. Queen to f6, uh, and you're, you're, in, you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, queen to d6, uh, there's a threat of queen to d6 checkmate. And after queen to f8 stopping this, uh, queen captures on b6 now. Uh, queen to b8, and now not immediately capturing the g6 pawn, uh, king to f3 first, now g5, h captures on g5, and after rook checks, uh, you simply play king to f4 now. Rook to h4 check, king captures on f5, and after queen to f8 check, queen to f6, and uh, you know, you're winning this game. Queen captures, uh, e captures, and these two pass pawns are, are too powerful to stop. Uh, so after f5, what's the other plan? If g captures on f5, this is even worse. Queen to g7 uh, with check, and it doesn't matter what you do. If you play king d8, queen to c7 is checkmate. Uh, and if you block with, for example, queen to e7, then you can capture the rook. This is perfectly fine. But even the barbaric uh, rook to c7 check uh, also wins the game. King captures, queen captures, and uh, the king moves. Uh, you grab all the pawns. This is winning. So, after f5, uh, Stockfish decided to go for rook to g8. Now comes uh, queen to h, uh, h6, also now threatening queen to h7 check. Uh, queen to f7 defending, and now f6. Now completely locking in the position, creating a beautiful passed pawn, that is this f6 passed pawn. And uh, king to d8 by Stockfish. King d2, now alpha creates a path for the queen uh, to come to e3 and then to c3. King to d7, uh, rook to c1, uh, king to d8, Stockfish doesn't really have a move here, uh, queen to e3, queen to f8, queen to c3, and here Stockfish plays queen to b4 and offers the exchange of queens. Uh, the, the threat is of course queen to c7, but uh, playing something like queen to f7 uh, results in uh, king to e3, uh, then after queen to d7, uh, queen to a3 and uh, white uh, alpha will exchange queens on d6. Uh, king to e8, queen d6 now, uh, threatening rook to come to c7, and after queen captures, e captures, uh, rook to f8 going for the f-pawn, but now rook to c7, and uh, white is getting rid of, rid of this bishop and then picking up uh, the queen side pawns. If you try and stop this with rook to f7, rook captures on f7, king captures and d7, and there is no way to stop this pawn from promoting. The king can't uh, get near it because this pawn is covering e8 and uh, this pawn is covering uh, e7. So a very nice idea. So after queen to c3, uh, Stockfish decided to go for queen to b4. But now queen captures some b4, a captures some b4 and rook to g1. Uh, <clears throat> threatening maybe a h5 but also uh, preventing this rook from moving because you know you can't you can't afford to lose the g6 pawn. Uh, we have b3 here, uh, king to c3 now. Uh, alpha is uh, 
Alpha decides to grab the pawn and transfer the game to the queen side, even though h5 is uh, h5 is most likely winning here. Uh, but obviously, uh, this is even better. Uh, king to c3, uh, bishop to c8. This bishop has no way of entering the game, which is a which is a theme that repeats constantly in, in these uh, Alpha Zero versus Stockfish games. King captures on b3, bishop to d7, and now king to b4. Uh, bishop to e8, and now rook to a1, preparing to push the pawns. King to c7, uh, a5 now, uh, bishop to d7, a capture, some b6, king captures, and rook to a6, check. King b7, king to c5 now, now the white king is infiltrating the position. Uh, rook to d8, now rook to a2, uh, rook to c8, check. King d6, uh, bishop to e8, and now king to e7. Uh, this is... This is beautiful for white. Uh, f7 is a move that is uh, that is prepared, uh, and here Stockfish played g5, but uh, it doesn't really matter what it plays. If you play something like Bishop captures b5, then you're getting f7, uh, Rook to h8, and now you, now you can play anything. For example, Rook b2, you pin the Bishop, King has to defend, and now you, you don't even have to push uh, the pawn to victory. You can simply slowly enjoy the position and play King captures on e6, and then only then play king e7 and f8 queen. Uh, but after king e7, Stockfish played g5, uh, alpha captured h captures on g5, and in this position now Stockfish resigned the game. As uh, there are no moves to be played. This bishop still can't enter the game. Uh, f f7, g6, g7 is coming. This is, this is simply too overwhelming. So yeah, uh, I really enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, I really hate the French defense, and I was very happy to see how how Alpha Zero demolishes it. And uh, I hope those of you who play the French also enjoyed this, and also those of you who play against the French. And uh, I'm I'm very interested. What do you think about Elon Musk's uh, artificial intelligence accomplishment, uh, defeating the professional Dota 2 players? Uh, and I would like to thank Fernando Estevez de Oliveira and Daquila Ledesma for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon. Uh, perhaps with a video from the London Chess Classic and some human versus human games. See you soon.